Hi everyone, it's the Industrial Maker and this is the RS Industrial IoT Laboratory. The perfect place for me and my automation projects with controllers, sensors and actuators. Until recently I was having fun with Arduino and Raspberry Pi, but when my projects started to involve industrial environments, I had to start using industrial components as well to guarantee high reliability and safety over time. And RS components have the best products and technological solutions for this type of application. Schneider Electric develops connected technologies and solutions to manage energy and processes in ways that are safe, reliable, efficient, and sustainable. Schneider Electric invests continuously in R&D to maintain innovation with a strong commitment to sustainable development. With that, Schneider Electric has recently introduced PowerTag, a simple solution to a very complex problem. PowerTag is a compact, easy to install energy sensor which connects to a new or existing circuit breaker giving precise, powerful real-time data to building owners and facility managers. With a few easy steps, it provides insight into currents, voltages, power factor and energy uses to better manage critical loads, offering higher levels of efficiency and reliability to both new and retrofit installations. PowerTag not only measures energy and power in real time, it also monitors your assets and immediately alerts your smartphone in the event of downtime. Just tag your circuit breakers anytime, anywhere, and stay fully connected with the vital assets that make your business run smoothly. PowerTag is available in different versions, from single phase up to three phases, to meet any circuit breaker configuration. It can be installed with no space lost inside the distribution board and thanks to its embedded wireless capability, communication with the Acti9 SmartLink module does not require any additional wiring. Schneider Electric completely cut the managing costs by delivering a free commissioning software for PowerTag. The different power sensors communicate via wireless to a single Acti9 SmartLink module which is connected to Ethernet and can be accessed by a secure web-based application. To see PowerTag in action, we've built up this application that simulates a typical scenario you can find in building management. The panel replicates power distribution systems of a building with different power lines, each one of them under the protection of a dedicated circuit breaker. There is the air conditioning power line, here simulated with this fan. Then we have the ground floor kitchen restaurant power line, simulated by this oven. And finally, we have the lighting power line, which we've simulated by this floodlight. As it is, the system is working, and in case of any power malfunction, the circuit breakers cut the power on its own distribution line to prevent possible damages or injuries. However, with this configuration, there's no way to understand or prevent power malfunctioning. Now let's install power tag sensors on each circuit breaker, set up the monitoring application, and convert our standard power distribution panel to a real smart power distribution application. Okay, here we are. We've installed the power tags on each circuit breaker and the Acti9 SmartLink module is connected to the local network. Now it's time to set up the power tag system and to do that, all we need is a PC and to open the browser to type the IP address assigned to the Acti9 SmartLink to enter our username and password and this is the web monitoring and managing interface where we can set up each power tag from the name to the power alarm thresholds. As you can see, the web interface has three different categories, monitoring, diagnostics, and settings. Under monitoring, you can see each power tag connected to the system and the energy being consumed by each line. On the left, each power tag has a plus sign. If you click it, you can see the details of the energy for each power tag. Under Diagnostics, we can see all the connection parameters for the Acti9 SmartLink. And finally, under Settings, you'll see a menu with General, Communication, User Management, Alarms, and Devices. If you click on Devices, you'll get a full list of all the power tags connected to the system. 
On the right, there are locate buttons. Press the locate button and the light on each power tag will start to blink. Clicking on alarms, you can add an alarm threshold for each power tag connected to the system. When you click on Add Alarm, you can set up all the details for the alarm, including email notifications. And under Communication, you can find all of the local network details. As you've just seen, setting up the system is quick and easy. And now that everything is in its place, let's go test it. Monitoring. Since the monitoring application is web-based, I can access it from any device within the network. So I can, for example, use my tablet and have the system monitored mobily. Alarm. For obvious safety reasons, we'll avoid creating short circuits or any other dangerous situations. And we'll simulate a power overconsumption on the lighting distribution line by doubling the load with a second floodlight. And that's it. Here's the email with all the data related to the issue detected. Okay guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the link. You can also watch other app videos or check out the products we use today on our website rsonline.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.